Uh, hello, viewers of AVG News. Uh, I hope you are well wherever you are. Today we are we have on this channel uh, the deputy chairperson of the Malian community in South Africa, Mr. Mohamed Diko. He's got something to tell us about uh, their situation in their country. There is a picket that is upcoming, which they are joining. It's being organized by the EFF for the 25th of this month, and they have decided to join in. Uh, hello, Mr. Tiko, you can greet the viewers. Hey, hello, um, um, Polisi, how are you? I'm okay. Yes, thank you. Uh, thank uh, you, yes. exactly, uh, Mr. Tiko from Mali, uh, the Vice President for Malian Community in South Africa. Yes. Uh, we have a meeting with uh, EFF on the 25th May after tomorrow the day of uh, Africa celebration. And uh, we will uh, asking there to the French to uh, I, uh, to go out from Africa, especially from Mali and uh, all, all African countries. Yeah. Um, it has been now uh, 16 years, 60, 60 something years after the colonization, we still uh, in the same level. Yeah. Uh, for the interest of those from other African countries who do not understand, can you give us a background of the French entrenchment, especially in Francophone countries in Africa? Yes, uh, the Francophone country in, in uh, West Africa, you know, the countries in West Africa is the French colonies in uh, West Africa and uh, Central Africa. And um, after, after the independence, we still have another form of uh, neo-colonialism who is still uh, changing, it's changing the faces from the political power to economical powers now. And uh, we see this kind of domination. And uh, uh, the third one, we see more French forces in all African countries, especially in West Africa after the insurgencies, after the Islamic uh, insurgencies in some country of Sahel, who has been made by the same European who destroy uh, Libya. After the destruction of Libya, many people from there take their arms and come to occupy uh, the country like Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger and we are facing uh, this kind of uh, insecurities in the, the height level. And they just use that one to come, to tell they will come to assist us. And now it's 10 years after they came, the, the situation will come worse and worse every day. Yeah, that's why we, we decide in the Republic of Mali to really to tell them, thank you. We will, we will start to find an African solution for our problem, yes. Uh when you say that they are interfering with the politics, what are they doing? Are they putting in their stooges? Are they supporting their stooges? Are they suppressing the people of Mali, of West Africa? Yes, they, uh, they, they use the, the leaders. They assist the leaders, those corrupt leaders. They use the leaders who uh, mismanage the resources of uh, these countries. And they support them in the power. That's why it was the pricing of the population. After that one, the young militaries who make the coup, the political coup, are now in the new scale. And we wish and we pray for these young leaders to, uh, to assist and to help the Malian to get them a renaissance, the African renaissance. Yeah, like uh, the early of the 19, 1960s where the independence, yeah. That's, pretty, that's form of uh, fighting and uh, battle we are today in, uh, Mali, in West Africa, especially in Mali. Okay, and economically, how Hello? is this, how is this, uh, propping up of uh, French puppets affecting you, the ordinary Malian, economically?
Yes, I'm saying economically, how is this uh, puppetry? How are these puppets assisting the French and uh, affecting the ordinary West African? Uh, I repeat again. I'm saying you said that politically the French are supporting their own purpose to take over government. So how does this exactly. affect you, exactly. the, the ordinary person, uh, economically? Uh, thank you. Yeah, you know, economically, uh, we have, uh, like you told you, uh, the Mali, Mali is the third producer of gold in Africa. After South Africa, Ghana is Mali. And when you see the record now, you go to Google, you can't see Mali name. You will see the French name. Uh, economically, the, the people are still very poor, in the poor condition. And one of the richest uh, countries in West Africa is Mali. That's why we, we don't understand. The country is, uh, is pumping how many uh, tons of gold in the year. They, and to get uh, even drinking water or electricity is a, is a luxury. And this kind of thing, uh, and um, uh, like I told you other days also, is the, the issue of uh, the currency. Mali, West African country is still using the franc CFA. And that one is a local currency who's uh, referring to the French, uh, uh, the, the French franc. And we even go, want to go out from that system and get our own currency, inshallah, by the will of God. Okay, and not now, only Mali, not only West Africa, but Central African countries also they use the same currency. Okay, and now when you go to this picket on Friday on uh, on Wednesday, what exactly will be the message that you'll be carrying? Are you carrying that message in a in a some form of a, a memorandum, or you will go there and speak it up? Yeah, we will do it by some form of a memorandum. First of all, to all South African, all African to know, we celebrate the Day of Africa. And uh, the second one to know, we need our freedom, our economical freedom. It's not only political freedom and the economical freedom. Africa, we want to, we want to um, trade. We want to trade. We want to trade with the countries who respect us. And what every, everyone is uh, is gaining in both sides, not only one side. Yes. That's what we are looking for. Okay. We don't want somebody who interfere in our uh, internal affairs or our African affairs or African problems. We need the African solution for African problems. Yes, uh, we recently heard that the money- And we especially want to thank the young generation to know. Uh, I'm saying we recently heard that the Malian government has already begun a, a process of kicking out the French from Mali. Uh, where do you stand in as far as this is concerned? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Exactly. We, we, we give them the notice. It was the contract between the two countries and uh, they didn't respect it. They didn't respect it and they put themselves in uh, in uh, in the place of Mali in the UN, we declared them no, not like that. We don't want to somebody to substitute himself in our place. Mali is an independent uh, country. We don't want somebody to interfere. Yeah, that's why we we cancel things. Uh, the Malian soldier, the Malian community will uh, uh, stand up and. Uh, yeah, and uh, sort out our problem ourselves. We need our own solution. Yes. Our, we, and we, we can choose our, our partnership with any country in the world. Any country with respect to our republic, we can do with them, no problem. Any cooperation. And what has been the French response? How has France responded to this memorandum that you gave them, the notice that you gave them? Yeah, France, they, they, they respond very badly. With uh, the, the leadership, the France leadership of today, I mean, uh, with uh, the past government, they changed now the new government. 
they 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 respond very badly i think it's uh, it's not possible for them it's uh, it's like uh, it's a, it's a, it's like uh, the just the military who come to the power they don't know how to do they don't know how to, they want and they don't know this is the wish of the malian po po community malian population okay so the malian uh, population re i mean respects the decision of the the government that is there right now are you in support of what they did exactly we are 100% <laughs> behind them and we are fighting for this new independence of Mali and of Africa, not only Mali. <laughs> okay. And what are the other West African countries? Uh, where are they standing in, in as far as this is concerned? Are they supporting you? Are they taking the similar measure? A similar measure as well. Exactly. There was the country who they take with, with uh, the support of France, they take the sanction, the economic sanction against Mali. They call it ECOWAS. We got our Suri regional uh, uh, communities calling ECOWAS. France assist them to push and take sanction against Mali. The government, the government of uh, these countries. No, the population of this country, they are, they, are, they are with the population of Mali. Okay, so the government... All the ECOWAS population that are supporting Mali, the cause of Mali. Oh, so only the... So the, the ECOWAS governments are not supporting Mali, but the people of ECOWAS are supporting Mali. Exactly. Exactly. That is why the fight is the ease. That's why we want African Union to know. We want the SADC to know. We want South Africa also to know what's happened there. Okay, then after this picket on Wednesday, what will be next for Malian community in South Africa? In South Africa, no, we uh, we are uh, asking the government uh, of South Africa, like historically, you know, since our and our first president, Mr. Modi Bokeita, our, our support for the ANC for the fighting to liberate South Africa, and we assist them also. The, uh, the people of South Africa to assist Mali yeah, in many ways. We are rich countries and uh, uh, one of the oldest African uh, uh, empires, empire country, and they don't give up. Our people uh, uh, know how to, how to fight in long term, how to fight. <laughs> okay, uh, thank you very yeah. much. Uh, just maybe as a parting shot, uh, what is your message on African on Africa Day, which is on the twenty first of this month? The twenty five, the twenty five of May is Day of Africa. Is Day of Unity of Africa. Is Day of the African, uh, uh, um, the Pan Africanist, the Pan Africans to stand and fight for African liberation. We still, we still tighten for me. We still uh, have many people fighting us and we need to liberate ourselves. The liberation is not finished. The young generation, especially the youth, must stand up and fight for Africa. We see how Europe has developed themselves. Asia is stand up. Now is the, is the, is the time to Africa in this, uh, this time for Africa to stand up. OK, thank you very much. Uh, uh, we hope to have you again in, on this channel. Maybe it's soon after you have held this picket maybe on Thursday or Friday for a review of how it all went. Thank you. Thank you, Nkolisi. Thank you. Thank you very much, my brother. Okay, thanks. Thank you. God bless you.